When you think of grocery shopping in the US today, you think of big brands like Walmart, Costco, Target, and the like. But what if I told you bigger brands dominated the grocery shopping landscape in the 20th century? Many of them are no longer in operation for many reasons. However, it's impossible to gloss over the fact that these companies were once thriving and loved by Americans. So what happened to them? Welcome to the America's Trip Down Memory Lane channel. In this video, we'll be talking about a few American grocery stores that are no longer operating. Alpha Beta. This grocery store was best known for its cowboy mascot. The first Alpha Beta store was opened in California in 1910, and the business was so successful that in a few decades, there were other branches in almost every state. Around the mid-1950s, Alpha Beta grocery stores were referred to as the Country Club, mainly because most of the stores were located in suburban areas. Because of this, it was more than just a place you could go to for grocery shopping. It also doubled as a hangout spot for the locals. Unfortunately, the brand's growth slowly began to decline in 1979. By 1995, all Alpha Beta stores had been overtaken by other grocery chains or rebranded. Dominic's Dominic's was a legendary grocery chain that came out of Chicago. It started out as a family business with just one outlet in 1918. However, the brand expanded to more than 70 outlets countrywide. Dominic's was a competition for other well-known brands like Walmart and Target, but unfortunately their sales began to decline and they were struggling financially. They couldn't keep up with this competition and looked to a company called Fisher Foods for financial backing. This positively affected the business and after a few years of success, Dominic's decided to buy back their company for $100 million. Unfortunately, they couldn't stand alone financially as they thought. And by 2014, all of Dominic's grocery outlets were closed down. Kohl's Food Stores Today, Kohl's is famous for being a departmental store where discount clothing is sold, but the brand started in 1927 as a grocery store. The first Kohl's store was built by a Polish immigrant, Maxwell Kohl, in Milwaukee, and was started out as a grocery store, expanded into a drugstore, liquor store, etc. Kohl's was known for its arch roof design and a style that's very typical of modern day supermarkets, and in no time it became the largest supermarket chain in Milwaukee. Eventually, the management sold the grocery part of the business to another company. However, by 2003, all the stores were closed down. The departmental stores are Kohl's only extension still in operation. Food Fair Food Fair was founded in the late 1920s by Samuel N. Friedland. The first store was called Reading Giant Quality Price Cutter, which opened in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. By the mid-1950s, the store was doing so well, it was one of the top grocery stores in the entire country. Originally located in the Mid-Atlantic, Food Fair grocery stores were established in Florida and even California. At the peak of the company's development, there were over 500 food fair outlets, and the company underwent a rebranding, taking on the name Pantry Pride. In the 1980s, however, they began to deal with bankruptcy. Their net worth continued to reduce in value for many years until all Pantry Pride stores were completely closed by 2000. Cash and Carry Cash and Carry started out as a stand for fruits and vegetables on the streets of Tampa, run by an Italian man and his wife in 1914. However, it wasn't until 1962 that their family business was renamed Cash and Carry, a nod to the Cash and Carry program of World War II. Floridians loved the grocery chain because of the quick services it offered. Whenever more than three customers were waiting in line, a new checkout lane would be created, which helped shoppers get what they wanted from Cash and Carry within minutes. At the peak of their business, there were almost 120 outlets across the country. Unfortunately, Cash and Carry crashed as a result of expanding too fast and an increased number of competitions. By 2007, all the store's outlets were closed. Grand Union Grand Union began in New York and served the city for a very long time. At one point, the brand operated over 220 Grand Union outlets in five other states including Vermont, New Jersey, Connecticut, New Hampshire, and Pennsylvania. Everyone's favorite thing about Grand Union was how they were designed to meet the needs of the customers. Each store included a variety of brand names and private label groceries, and some stores even had side attractions like a cafe or pharmacy. However, despite how well Grand Union did with the customers, the company was faced with bankruptcy, a problem they did not recover from. In 2001, the company was sold to CNS Wholesale Grocers, and after two more buyers, the Grand Union brand was officially closed down in 2002. National Tea 
The National Tea Company was one of the earliest companies to arrive in the grocery store business. The first National Tea Grocery Store was founded in 1899, and the business dominated the 20th century. By the 1920s, the company owned almost 2,000 grocery stores across the country, with 600 of them being in Chicago alone. They were making sales of almost $90 million every year. The decline of this company started during the Great Depression, when most of the stores were sold or closed down. Somehow, National Tea still remained one of the top grocery stores in the country. However, the new buyers of many outlets across the country failed to manage the business properly, and it crashed in the 1970s. In 1976, all National Tea stores were sold to A&P, and today, none of them are in operation. Jitney Jungle the first Jitney Jungle grocery store was opened in 1919 and was run by two brothers and their cousin. The business started out in Jackson, Mississippi, but as the years passed, they were able to expand the business to states as far as Florida. They opened more stores and by 1973, the brand owned 38 grocery stores, 6 gasoline stations and 5 pharmacies. Jitney Jungle remained a family-owned brand until 1996, which is quite impressive, and by that time, they had over 100 stores nationwide. By the end of the 1990s, the brand was already bankrupt as a result of poor management. In 2000, Jitney and Jungle were sold to Win dixie and all their stores were taken over and rebranded. Fresh and Easy Of all the grocery stores on our list, Fresh and Easy has the shortest run. It was launched by the UK-based retailer Tesco, which is the third largest retailer in the world. Unfortunately, Fresh and Easy was unable to thrive in the US market for a number of reasons, including their struggle to attract customers, failure to communicate their mission properly, and how difficult it was to navigate their shops, which particularly turned customers off. And operating for just eight years between 2007 and 2015, Fresh and Easy filed for bankruptcy twice. And it was finally shut down after the second time. Before it completely went off the market, Fresh and Easy had more than 150 stores across the country. This brand remains proof that finances aren't the only thing that determines whether a business thrives or not. Victory Supermarkets Victory Supermarkets was founded in Leominster, Massachusetts by two Italian brothers in the year 1923. The brand was named after America's victory in World War I, and it started out as a small grocery store that specialized in fruit, meats, and home deliveries. It wasn't until 1955 that the sons of the founding brothers built the first supermarket. The company ran for 81 years and was overseen by three generations. During this time, Victory Supermarkets expanded into a company with 20 stores, almost 3,000 employees, and an annual revenue of almost $400 million. However, the company was dissolved after it was sold to Hannah Ford Brothers Company in 2004. Wall Bombs Wall Bombs was another family-owned grocery business that opened in the 20th century. The first Wall Bomb store was opened in 1904 by two brothers who were Jewish immigrants, and it was run for 115 years. From a store that opened primarily in New York, the company expanded into traditional stores throughout New Jersey and Connecticut, selling a wide variety of grocery products. Some of their products included deli meat, dairy, baked goods, and frozen foods, and some stores even offered pharmacy services. By the 1980s, which was the brand's peak, there were more than 149 Wall Bomb stores in New York alone. However, due to mismanagement, the company filed for bankruptcy in July 2015, and by November of the same year, all the wall bomb stores were closed down or sold. Thank you for watching. Hit us up in the comments section and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.